For those that don't know, rosacea is a skin condition where you get redness because of expanded blood vessels on your face. Rosacea can show up as small, red pus-filled bumps on the face and can be on and off for some people. To understand why you have redness on your face because of rosacea, it could be because of one of three factors. These are number one, your climate. Especially if your weather it is always changing or you have over or under exposure to the UV or you are in a very cold climate, then it could all lead to redness. Cause number two, you use the wrong skincare products on your face, which could mean overusing the product or just using the wrong product altogether. And finally, cause number three, changes in your hormones, especially when your estrogen levels decrease below the recommended level. This is why it can be a very sensitive condition and bring about insecurities for many people. But with that being said, today's video is designed specially to take down those insecurities and get you back on track to living a happy life. So let's dive straight into the skincare tips. Starting with a tip number one, wash your face with cold water. This is the main reason rosacea occurs is because of expanded blood vessels. So it would only make sense that if you were to treat rosacea, you want the blood vessels to contract. This is why washing your face with cold water is very helpful in causing your blood vessels to contract because of the cold temperatures. As a rule of thumbs, you don't have to go whole overboard and put ice cold water on your face, but try to use water which you are comfortable with and is cold at the same time. Some people have also reported taking cold showers to help them with this, but at this point that's just a bonus if you wish to include in your routine. Another hack that has been found to work great is drinking a cold drink or placing a small ice cube in your mouth. By placing the ice cube in your mouth, we mean holding the ice block between your gum and cheeks. This works the same way as cold water on your face, with the only difference being that you are not only contracting your face blood vessels, but also those of your body, meaning your redness will go away temporarily, very quickly. So, in case you have an urgent meeting or need to get somewhere quick, then just put a small ice cube in your mouth and suck on it, it will quickly reduce your redness. Tip number two, don't eat hot and spicy foods. Even though we all love eating these, but eating spicy and overly salted foods can escalate your rosacea even further. This is because they raise your skin temperature, which is something you definitely want to avoid if you want to get rid of rosacea. Also, in general, you should avoid eating processed foods because they contain preservatives, which have been found to actually cause rosacea in the first place. So instead of eating these, try to eat fresh fruits and vegetables, whole foods, or just try to cut down on the amount of spicy and processed foods you eat. Tip number three, don't drink alcohol, because it is found to be one of the triggers for increasing rosacea. Studies have also found that along with alcohol, other substances that can trigger rosacea include peppermint, eucalyptus, oil, and clove oil. Tip number four, don't use hot water when taking a shower or bathing. This goes without saying, as we just saw in tip number one. The last thing you want to do is increase your skin temperature because this will expand your blood vessels even more, resulting in your rosacea becoming worse. So anything that can raise your skin temperature, like hot water, is something you should definitely avoid. Tip number five, use water-based makeup and cleansers. If you use cleansers that leave the face dry by giving you a squeaky finish, then you are also washing away the natural oils on your skin, which can lead to irritations and skin dryness, which can make your rosacea worse. This is why you should use cleansers that are low in pH and makeup that is water-based, so your skin stays hydrated and doesn't get dry over time. Which leads us on to the next best thing you can do when choosing facial creams is. Tip number six, avoid oil-based facial creams. This goes hand in hand with the second cause of rosacea we discussed earlier, where people use the wrong products on their skin altogether and end up doing more damage to it than good. This is because oil has a high viscosity. In simple terms, this means that since oil is thick, it just sits on the top of your skin when you apply it on. 
This thick oil ends up blocking your skin pores, leading to a buildup of more bacteria and acne, which is the last thing you want when dealing with rosacea. Likewise, tip number seven goes hand in hand with tip number six, which is use skin products with cooling agents. Since the main reason rosacea occurs in the first place is because of your face temperature increasing. So, you want to lower your body temperature. The best thing that has been found to work is keeping the lower half of your body submerged under cold water. As a rule of thumbs, if you find it easier, you can also just place your feet in cold water instead of your whole lower body, since some may find it very uncomfortable. But since you can't go to work with your feet in cold water, experiment with using skin products that have cooling agents. By cooling agents, we mean products that lower the skin's temperature by at least one degree. The most common cooling agents that are supported by a ton of scientific evidence are menthol and eucalyptus. So, the next time you go skincare shopping, make sure that any of these two cooling agents is present in your product to give you the best chance of preventing and reducing rosacea. But for some, that might be a lot of work. In that case, just simply follow tip number eight. Use sheet masks. Sheet masks are so effective that they just lower the whole face temperature in one go. This is why people have found this to just work wonders in quickly and temporarily taking care of their skin redness. Another reason why these masks work wonders is because of their hydrating and cooling effect, which just relax any part of your skin on which you place the mask. But as a general rule of thumbs, there are some things you need to be careful of when choosing and using a sheet mask. These include, the sheet mask shouldn't contain alcohol. Like we discussed in our previous tip, it doesn't have artificial coloring or harsh chemicals like phenoxyethanol. Also, you want to make sure that the sheet mask contains gentle agents like ceramides, which are molecules that help strengthen your skin. Because strengthening your skin barrier is the best thing you can do to get your rosacea under control. Which leads us on to tip number nine, strengthen your skin. By strengthening your skin, what you are really doing is making it more resistant to the outside environment. This means that you won't easily get red when you face those certain triggers. The best method to strengthen your skin is to firstly avoid using the wrong cosmetics as we just previously discussed, and secondly use products that have gentle agents and the right ingredients. Even though there's no such thing as the right ingredients, but there are ingredients that have the best chance of controlling your rosacea. These ingredients include stearic acid, caprylic or capric triglyceride. Stearic acid helps to wash away excess oils and dirt from your skin. Studies have also found that stearic acid protects the natural skin barrier against water loss and is just good overall when it comes to strengthening your skin. And tip number 10 is a no-brainer. Protect yourself from the sun. This is because the sun gives off strong UV rays that can damage your skin in the long run. UV rays do this by expanding your capillaries and blood vessels. Because as we know, rosacea happens because of expanded blood vessels. This is why the last thing you want to do is to expand these blood vessels even more. The most effective way of making sure this doesn't happen is by using a sunscreen when outdoors, wearing and making use of shaded areas to avoid the UV rays from sun altogether. As a rule of thumbs, we recommend that when buying a sunscreen, you make sure that it includes UVA rays, UVB rays, and provides protection against heat for your best chance in fighting rosacea. Tip number 11, use antibiotics. It's worth noting that rosacea occurs usually due to a bacterial infection. This is why using antibiotics for a period of 6 to 12 weeks will give you the best chance of reducing rosacea or preventing it altogether. Now just bear with us whilst we use technical language for a few seconds to give you a list of the best antibiotics we recommend you to use. 
Number 1. Doxycycline at 50 mg per day for 6 to 12 weeks. If doxycycline doesn't work, then you can consider using antibiotic number 2, cotramoxazole, or number 3, metronidazole, or finally, antibiotic number 4, minocycline. Tip number 12, use anti-flushing tablets. If you are looking for the most convenient and most effective solution to rosacea, then this is it. This is because they do exactly the job they are designed for. Anti-flushing tablets help to reduce any redness, flushing, or inflammation that comes with rosacea. Now these are prescription pills, and you should talk to your doctor before getting your hands on one of these. But the two most common anti-flushing pills are clonidine and carvedilol. Even though these pills are made for blood pressure patients, but they are very effective against rosacea as well. Because how they work is essentially by constricting your blood vessels. Because as we discussed, rosacea occurs when your blood vessels expand. So by constricting them and bringing them back to their natural size will go a long way in helping ease rosacea. Tip number 13, use moisturizers that contain niacinamide or nicotinamide. These ingredients are a mouthful to say, but according to research, two studies have found that moisturizers that contain these two ingredients improve your skin barrier function. What this means is that you will get less skin reactions to things like cleansers and cosmetics. Because, as we previously discussed, your rosacea might be due to your skin reacting to different skincare products you may be using to do this. Just apply the moisturizer to your face like you would with any other cream and gently massage it into your skin until it is absorbed. And that's it. Go about your day. Over the course of next few weeks, you will surely experience your rosacea easing away for good. Tip number 14. Apply makeup to cover redness. In order to make use of this short-term quick fix, you want to make sure that you are using a yellow toned base to cover your skin. To do this, use a BB cream that has a natural finish and can be layered because you want to apply BB cream to your face to cover all the redness. This is the best way to covering your redness because unlike thick or heavy concealers, using a yellow toned BB cream base will not only help hide your redness, but also make it look natural at the same time. And finally, the last tip on today's list is tip number 15. Don't harsh exfoliate. We understand the temptation when your face gets all red and you just want to rub away that redness. But this will actually do more harm to your skin than good and can even make your rosacea worse. This is because if you have rosacea, then it's highly likely that you also have sensitive skin. This is why if you harsh exfoliate your skin by using a hard towel or scrub, then you can badly damage your skin. Remember, this is a game of patience. Rosacea will take time to go away, but following the correct practices will ensure that your rosacea goes away quickly. So focus more on gentle exfoliation of the skin, which should include the use of water to hydrate your skin. We recommend using exfoliating products containing AHA because these allow you to remove dead skin whilst moisturizing the skin at the same time. With all that being said, your rosacea can definitely be treated and gone away for good by following these simple, long and short-term tips. As mentioned in today's list, just focus on using the correct products for your sensitive skin and substitute negative habits with good. But as a disclaimer with anything, your doctor or dermatologist should always be aware of any medical routine you decide to go with. If you are dealing with rosacea or have used other tricks that have worked, we would love to know your experience in the comments below as do other people dealing with rosacea. If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and we will see you in our next video.